You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. Welcome to the WBT with Michael Lodge. I want to congratulate the House of Representatives today for passing tax reform. It was the better bill. The Senate bill is crap, okay? That should be shredded. It should be put into the incinerator and never seen again. But I want to thank all the members of Congress who voted for tax reform because it is a step forward for the American people. It's what the American people have been asking for for so very long. Now, the problem is, is now it goes over to the Senate side. And when it goes over to the Senate side, that's when they begin to play dirty politics. And there's a couple of senators over there, especially Senator McCain, who is going to fight this tooth and nail. So I'm telling the Senate right now, put the Senate bill to the side and vote only on the, on the bill that came over from Congress. It's a good, it's a good plan. It does what you guys said it would, going to, it would do. So, but the problem is, is that it's now in your guys' hands, it's in the Senate's hands, and that's where it's going to fail, because you're going to play politics. The American people didn't ask you to play politics, they sent you there to do a job. The job that they asked you to do, and that was tax reform and repeal ACA. So far, you've failed at both of them. So, if you want to do something right for the American people, do what we asked you to do. We asked you specifically, repeal and replace ACA. Checkbox on the failure side. We asked you to reform the tax code. Put the checkbox on the success side. Vote for this bill that came out of Congress today. Put it up for a vote and let it be passed and let the Senate and let the President be able to sign something. Don't play politics. If you're going to play politics, you're going to lose the Senate. I'm telling you right now, you have very little seats to keep your majority. And if you're going to play politics on this one and fail your promise to the American people to reform tax the tax code, then you will fail at your jobs. So in the next few days, you have a big responsibility to keep your promise to the American people. So far you failed at ACA. You failed miserably. You look so dirty that your approval rating is only at 15%. I think my dog Skippy has a higher approving rating. Skippy has, I'm pretty sure he has about 45 to 50%. People love him. Skippy always keeps his promise. He's very loyal. So if you want to get your approval rating up to my dog, pass tax reform. Keep your promise to the American people. If you're going to play politics, then politics is going to come back and bite you in the ass and you are going to go running like a crybaby. And you're going to be blaming people just like Hillary Clinton did in her book. It's everybody else's fault except yours. Unfortunately, you have a bill that's on your desk right now for you to pass. And if you play politics and do not pass it, you will have failed the American people and you will lose the United States Senate. How dumb is that? How ridiculous is that to place politics at a time when the American people need your help? I've had it. Honestly, I've had it with the Senate. Everything that goes... Listen, there are over 300 bills sitting in the Senate at the moment that came over from the United States Congress. And you haven't done anything with them. They are sitting in a pile, just sitting there, because McConnell will not put them out to a vote on the floor. Stop playing politics. McConnell, do your job. 
passed this tax reform. Not the Senate version, but the congressional version. Because that's the one that makes the greatest sense. Fail us once, fail us twice, and you're out the door. The American people have had it with promises from politicians where it goes nowhere except to play politics and finger-pointing and blaming. And now what I'm afraid of is that when anybody supports the president or supports a candidate or supports anybody, they are going to be accused of something. Because politics is a dirty business and you've made it that dirty. This isn't the America that we used to know. We used to know a Congress that used to work together. Those are the days of Tip O'Neill, President Reagan. Where people would reach across the aisle and work together on bills that they felt were good for America and not good for their political careers or their power base. So it's past the Congress. It's now over to the Senate side. And if the Senate screws it up, then they have failed again. So if there's any senators out there listening to me, Put the politics down and do something that's good for America and keep a promise to the American people. This is Mike Lodge for the WBT. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com. And listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. World of Business and Taxes.